Just about everybody knows if you want to know what's going on, you go to the beauty shop. Hello, everybody. Apparently, Barack Obama knows that too, walking into Total Elegant Salon in downtown Roanoke. I thought he was coming to get a haircut at first. <laughs> but Obama is just here to talk. Using barbershops and beauty shops as a way to make sure everybody's informed about the election mm -hmm. and registering the vote and now turning out the vote. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to say. I was speechless. Speechless I in a beauty shop? But you might be too if you're in the chair like Francis Thompson. When I saw him, I almost fell in the floor, I said, oh my God, look at my hair. What am I? <laughs> oh, it was awesome. It was just so awesome. Says the barber, Timothy Wright, because not every small business owner gets to talk to the man who might be the next president. 50 years, but you must have remodeled it because it looks like it's brand new up in here. It means the world to me because it shows that he cares about where we are trying to make it. And knowing it could be her only chance, Frances doesn't let her hair and curlers keep her from getting a hug. I wanted to get to the Civic Center, but I didn't get to get to the Civic Center. So I got the best seat in the house, though. <laughs> so there's going to be lots to talk about in this beauty shop. Barack Obama's visit still the buzz, even after he leaves. In Roanoke, Angela Hatcher, WSLS 10, on your side. Thank you so much. This is, this is going to be the guy who...